Welcome to Minikun Tutorials. Today I'm going to show you how to join Zotero groups. Basically, Zotero groups are usually created for collaborative research. But in some cases, an individual can create a Zotero group that would serve as, I mean, a, a public group for other people who might be carrying out research in that particular field of study to, I mean, um, apply to join and also be part of the group. So, you know, the, 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 the research uh, project or whatever continues to grow, you know. That is just for, you know, Zotero can be used for other purposes. It's not just for research, but I'm speaking with respect to my field, you know. All right, so let me quickly show you how. You have to go to www.zotero.org. First of all, if you would like to know how to create a Zotero group and invite members to join, I've already done that. You can look right below this video. You would find um, Zotero playlist or you can look in my channel. You find Zotero playlist and you'll be able to know how to create a Zotero group and invite uh, members to join. Right now, we will look at how to join Zotero groups. So you can simply go to zotero.org. In your web browser, you go to zotero.org. Type in zotero.org and you hit enter. You know, when you come to zotero.org, it brings us here. Very good. And over here, you see, realize that I've already logged in so if you are new here you have to click here you like you definitely find something like log in so you have to first of all you need to have a Zotero account if you don't know how to have a Zotero account I'll show you how so you click on log in here and then you enter your email address and everything when you finish with that you simply click on log in if you don't have an account then you have to first of all create an account by clicking on register for an account before you can be eligible for joining any group or even creating your own group in Zotero. So I already have an account, so I simply log in. All right. So now that I've finished logging in, this is my own Zotero account. As you can see, all my articles and everything, my online Zotero account. But right now I want to uh, join a group. So I'll click on groups. And then when I click on groups, what happens? I have the groups over here and I can have the choice to either create a group or to search for groups. Like I said, I've already made videos on how to create a group. So if you would like to search for groups and join, you simply click on search for groups. And over here, you can also search for individuals and you can also search for groups. So if you'd like to search for groups you simply type in the name of the group for example you can say diabetes whatever you know diabetes you type in you know the name it must correspond to what you are looking for your research topic or whatever so you see we have a couple of groups here one is uh, public close membership then Another one is here, anyone can view, sorry, anyone can view, only members can edit. So this is a public group library, you know, and we have systematic review on diabetes. This is the, the name of the group and it is a what? A public closed membership. What that means is that anyone can view, but for you to be able to become a member, you must send an invitation you cannot edit or do anything to the group so assuming you want to join this particular group you simply click on the name of the group and it it shows you who has created a group the group administrator and everything so this is a group title uh, long-term complications of uh, what we call it the title is over here systematic review on diabetes and as you can see we have long-term complications you know, these are the articles and the books and whatever that are in this particular, uh, uh, what do you call it? 
in this particular Zotero group. So this is a quick way of searching for materials on when you are carrying out systematic literary review, literature review or when you are even writing articles, when you are doing your thesis or whatever. You could also look for articles by searching through Zotero uh, groups because if you find, for instance, this is a public group and then the fellow has some content that are in line with your research work. I've already joined this group, so you see that I have the option to leave or to join. So if I should click on leave, I've left the group. If I want to join, then I have to click on join. And now the invitation has been sent. You see, you are no longer a member of this group, whatever. Uh, uh, you have applied to join this group. A group administrator must approve your application. You see, so when the group administrator sees my application, he would send me the and if you would like to know who is a group administrator, this is the group administrator. Sandong Minunku, he's a group administrator. So when he connects to Zotero, he can approve my application and I'll be a member of the group once again. So I can join as many as possible and I'm entire I have the right to download any of these articles. If I click on it, you know, it, it opens here. And I have this a book. If I should double click on the book, then I come over here. Let's see. Let's see whether there are some attached files. There are no attached files related, whatever. Okay. This one is just an empty item. They didn't put anything. Let's look at long term effects and complications of diabetes mellitus. You see that it has opened the article for us. You see, and we can make use of this item, we can download it and use it for our research work. So this is how we join Zotero group. Once again, I said you should go to www.zotero.org. Simply type zotero.org. Then click on groups. Make sure you are logged in, click on groups and search for the group. Type in the name of the group and join. Thank you so much for watching and please subscribe.